Hello everyone. Welcome to Rob John Spirius. This uh, this video here today is going to be Rob John's Reno as fuck special. All right. He's a 16 ounce tilt glass in a frost free freezer for 20 minutes. Today we're doing a 16 ounce can. All right. Also put that in a uh, frost free freezer also for 20 minutes. All right. Today we're doing again, Reno as fuck, hazy, DIPA, DIPA stands for double IPA, 8.4 ABV, alcohol by volume, 23 IBUs, international beer units, canned on date, 117.19. Hops are Simcoe, Mosaic, Citra, aromas and notes are peach, melon, resinous pine, floral notes, biscuity malt, and caramel. Now, let's open up this can and see what we have, all right? Should be pretty tasty here. I, I tried it yesterday here, all right? Let's pour it into the glass. There we go. Nice and hazy here. All right, let's stop for a minute here. There we go. Let's pour it in a little more here. Pour the rest of it when I have more room in the glass. How about a finger ahead here? All right, let's show the uh, bubbles here. Bubbles galore here. That's what you're looking for, a nice carbonated beer here, all right? By the way, I'm uh, limited on sun here, so I'm gonna have to turn on my computer uh, lamp here. There we go. A little better, I think. All right, let's get this thing squared away here, all right? Now, let's uh, do the aromas here, shall we? I do believe I smell some uh, peach and a little bit of melon. I do believe some smell some resinous pine and also some floral notes. It smells like biscuits in there, biscuity malt. Also some caramel, all right? Now let's give it a taste here. Cheers, everyone, and enjoy. Double thumbs up, double thumbs up, and another double thumbs up. A triple double thumbs up, all right? Now, let's taste it. See if we can taste the aromas here, shall we? Or I should say the notes. Sorry about that. I do taste the peaches, and I do taste the melons. I also taste the resinous pine. Very resiny for a hazy, for a hazy dipa, aka known as a double IPA. Taste the floral notes, very tasty. Let's see the outside taste here. Do taste the, the biscuity malt, and I also believe I let's see. I taste the last one here. Definitely taste the caramel in it. All right. Now, sorry about it, everyone. Uh, I screwed up your yesterday. Uh, YouTube. Uh, you went a different language here, and I could not change anything here, so I left some stuff out here, so I'm redoing it here. Anyway, like I said before, I'm repeating myself here. Rob John's Reno is fuck special, all right? Sorry about everyone there, especially to uh, make a toast to Beer Dad from UK, a.k.a. known as David Robert Johnson. Cheers, Beer Dad. And uh, so sorry I didn't leave the uh, mention the, the notes and the aromas on the beer yesterday there, but like I said before, it was written in a different language and I could not read the different language, so I screwed up there, so I apologize, all right, to you and all everyone on YouTube there and all the beer all the beer people watch my beer videos on YouTube there. 
All right. We'll get back to what I was doing here. Cheers, Beer Dad, and enjoy. And Beer Dad, sip it. Beer Dad, I give you a double thumbs up and another double thumbs up. All right. Now let's pour the uh, rest of this uh, beer into the glass here, shall we? Here we go. I like the name there. Reno as fuck. I didn't put it on the can there. It's the way it was came from the brewery that way. Anyway, let's pour the rest of the glass here, shall we? There we go. It takes a little longer for the last drops out of the can over a bottle, but you've yet to be patient. Get a few more drops in here. We should go in a second here. There we go. Perfect pour. And I have about a half a finger head here. Nice lacing the glass there. Bear the lacing the bear beer. I do in my uh, like I did in my old beer videos a while back, last year, whatever. Anyway. Uh, I prefer frosting the glass over chilling the glass. Uh, the frosted glass, you can get keep the beer cold longer in your glass, twenty to thirty minutes over a chilled glass. Of course that's your choice and so so my choice. And so so my opinion and your opinion too. Alright? Now, should I, sip the, should I sip it or should I chug it? This time it's my choice. Oh, what the hell? I'm going to chug it. Ugh. Double thumbs up. Excellent, outstanding, hazy dipper, aka known as the Black Beer. Right. Uh, anything else going on here? Yes, the time is 4.47 p.m., 1.28.2019, Monday, late afternoon or early evening, whichever you prefer. All right. Well, I'll kill you. Anything else going on here? Yes. Let's uh, do the ratings here, shall we? I no longer go to Beer Advocate, Rate Beer, or Untapped. I do my own ratings there. That way I get more, more views, more comments, and more subscriptions. Speaking of more subscriptions, I have 119 now, and I need I need 150. In my new goal, my super overall goal, is 1,000 subscriptions. Hopefully, I should have hit it. Hopefully, by before Christmas of this year, 2019. Anyway, enough flat my gums here. Anyway, let's make the sip here and make my final decision here. What I say goes. All right. Since it's got the uh, ABV, I'll call by volume. The IBUs are international beer units. And the canned on date, 117.19. I give this baby an A+. That's what my final decision is. I'm going to stick to it. An A+. All right. Also, I want to make a, a surprise uh, cheers to here. Cheers to uh, Sebastian Lindsay. He's out there uh, in Concord there on my one of the spirits. I just picked up this beer here about a half an hour ago there. Cheers, Sebastian, and enjoy. Sebastian, I give you a double thumbs up. All right. Make a surprise toast to here. Toast to my close associate, uh, Facebook new friend there on Facebook. Cheers to Sarah. Cheers, Sarah. And enjoy. And Sarah, sip it, wussy. Sarah, give you a double thumbs up and another double thumbs up and another double thumbs up. All right. Anyway. Anything else going on here? Um, I guess that's about it here. I, like I said before, I apologize there if I screwed up there. Uh, YouTube last night there is a different language there, so I, I said it there and, and my YouTube's fixed now, so hopefully you should have no more problems anymore, all right? Uh, I guess that's about it there. Oh, no, I got one more thing to say. Uh, 
Uh, my super overall goal now is my overall goal is 17,000 views, and I now have a uh, 16,600 and about 75 views. And my new super overall goal overall goal is 20,000 views. I should hit that hopefully hopefully the beginning of summer or the end of summer of 2019 there. Anyway, it's about time to head out here, I guess, here. Don't really want to, but I have no choice. Your magic words are in all my videos, specials, screw-ups, top 10 videos, beer mail samples, time time talking, and tons and tons of mistakes while I'm doing my uh, beer reviews, videos. Time for Frosted Colon. Double hands. Out. Don't forget to sip it. Sometimes chug it. It's your choice, and it's also my choice. See this upside. And before I go, uh, mention there, got this uh, beer here. You can pick this up at a single can at Monument Wines and Spirits in Concord if you happen to live in the Concord area there, Contra Costa County, anyway. $4.49 for, uh, for a single 16 ounce can, all right? Ask for, ask for Sebastian, David Furman, or Dan, all right. Tell them that Rob Johns from Rob Johns Beer Reviews from YouTube sent you, all right. They'll hook you up there, and they're really cool over there, all right. They're very helpful, very knowledgeable, all right. That's the end of that. So, so next sign, see on the flip side. Have a wonderful evening, and I'll be doing a beer review number two fifty four. Not sure what it's going to be, but it'll be pleasantly surprised. Anyway, I have not done it yet there, and it's not. It's still in the store there. Watch me and stay tuned and see what I come up with, all right? Happy chugging, happy seven. Bye for now. That's it.